Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, Google Documents and how to share. So um, here we are again in the document home and let's go over and click new and uh, new document. All right, um, you'll notice here you've got file, edit, view, insert format. This is very similar to what you see at the top of uh, an Office program um, like Microsoft Word. And then also you have the um, kind of buttons that you can click that very similar to Word or any other word processing software suite. Um, you'll notice, I think right away, that this is a little bit simplified yeah, maybe a lot simplified. You can't do everything you can do in Microsoft Word. If you were writing um, a large book and things that were cross-referenced all over the place, uh, this is probably not the tool to do that in. However, if you were um, bouncing chapters back and forth with people, this might be a great place to do it, and I'll, I'll show you why. So um, you can, uh, if you're a little bit more of a traditionalist, you can do this. Excuse me. That this gives a little page frame, which is a little closer to the way um, Word looks. And being a traditionalist, sometimes uh, that's kind of the way I prefer it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use it this way. But know that just by using View, you can go back and forth at any time. Okay. So let let me type something. Uh, hello. How are you? Okay, so far so boring. I'm going to blow this up just like I would with uh, Office or Microsoft Word. Uh, I select it. Um, here are the fonts. Not as many, you'll notice. Uh, I'm going to blow this up to 36. Okay, hello, how are you? And just to show you the similarities, um, I'm going to do the, this part in red. And gosh, I guess I better make that a question. I was taught better than that after all. Okay, cool, right? Um, this is, I hope you're seeing, you can type pretty much whatever you want to do. The, the key here is to play around. But here's something you can't do and maybe you haven't seen before. It honestly revolutionizes documents and it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Go up here to the share button. Oh, this is cool. Okay, click share. We're gonna share this document with others. Yeah, you have to save it first, by the way. Okay, so now I come to this sharing screen. So let's cruise over here. I'm gonna invite people. I could do it as a collaborator, which is what I'm gonna do now, or as a viewer. Um, hopefully this makes sense. Viewers will be able to see it, but they won't be able to change anything. Collaborators are gonna be able to edit. So I'm gonna share this with my other um, account, greglind at gmail.com. And I'm going to invite collaborators. And this is just warning me, um, hey, wait a second, greglind at gmail.com is outside of the domain curriculum designers. Are you sure you want to invite them? Yeah, I trust this guy. Uh, and then I can type a message that he... Okay, uh, I'll CC myself. I could paste the whole document in to the email, but I don't want to do that. So then I'll say send. Okay, and I can go back to editing the, uh, the document here. But before I do, I want to direct your attention over here to the side. Now, this is uh, showing me that this document is shared. There are two collaborators, me, Greg at Curriculum Designers, and also this other guy, uh, Greg Lind. Now there's a little X here. If I wanted to, I could click there and just kick him out right away and that person would not be able to um, edit the document. Look at how all of these things are being integrated together. I can use this document that we're sharing as a communications hub. If I shared this with multiple people, I hope you can imagine this list would grow. I can email all of the collaborators from within the document. I can also create an event with the collaborators from within the document. Anything that you're working on in Google Apps becomes um, almost its own sort of a hub that 
links back across other things that you're doing. So let me try to show you how this works. I'm going to go back to editing here. Now I've set up um, another camera. All right, so here I am on my other camera, and I should be able to refresh this page. Yeah, okay, so here is the um, document that I just shared, and hopefully you can see this. Now, I'm working on another computer, um, maybe somewhere else. Uh, not just in the city, right, but maybe I'm in Europe and this other person is uh, uh, sitting on the back porch somewhere. All right, so, um, hello, how are you? I'm going to return down and say, um, or ask, why did you share this with me? I don't understand. All right, and um, that's... I can speed things up a little bit by clicking save here. Now, here I am uh, over here on this computer again, and notice down here it says also editing now Greg Lind. And um, this has popped up in my document. Now, remember that I made the fonts big and everything so that, that this would show up uh, well. But me and this other person are now working on the same document live at the same time. For example, let me. I don't like the um, um, font size over here, so I'm gonna. But I'm not gonna change it on this computer. I'm gonna go change it on the other computer. I'll be right back. And now I'm also gonna add in a notation here. I can insert a comment great okay and here we see all of that coming up live over on this computer um, and note that we made a, mo a notation here similar to what you can do in Microsoft Word. It is not quite as robust yet, but um, the capability is there. So if you were editing a document with somebody and you wanted to leave these notations for them, it would be easy for them to see them and then also get rid of them. Now, um, check this out. Uh, if at some point um, you may be concerned about, well, well what if uh, the person over there deleted this or changed it to, to purple or something and I, I you don't like that and you want to go back to uh, red, I don't know, and you, you're worried about overriding each other's information. Well, check this out. File, revision history.